Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's 520 on September 22nd, Thursday. I literally set my alarm for 450 and then hit snooze every four to five minutes. I hate waking up early, but I have family in town today. And I want to go to dinner tonight with them, so making it work. Ugh. I hate waking up early. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. You know that one song, like "Break It Up" is hard to do. I'm gonna remake that song with "Waking Up" because my God, why is waking up early so hard? I was gonna take the subway to the track. But there's really no good way to get to the East River track where we do our track workouts. So it's so early. I'd rather like get the bike in so I could wake my muscles up, be in the fresh air. You know. But there's no one on the bridge, there's no one outside. over this bridge at rush hour. So there's like 100,000 bikers who are super aggressive. So I can't film. But there's no one here. Normally my rule of thumb is don't run in the dark by yourself. I don't like to do it. But tonight, today I didn't really have a choice. It had to be done. I'm here. It's early. Drills. Oh man. I remember the first time that Josh and I met, he was uh, making fun of me because I was so afraid of puking during a run. And uh, he told me it was inevitable and I was like, absolutely not. There's no way I'll ever puke. Well, this morning I puked. We were on the track and today we had a ladder. So like we did one mile, three laps, two laps, one lap, and then three like 200, so that's half of a lap. And uh, my friend John, who is one of our November Project New York leaders, was with us yesterday morning, today morning, this morning? What day is it? Today's Thursday, this morning. Wow, I'm so turned around. Uh, and so he was kind of like running with me. And John's a really good runner. John also has a new, uh, new podcast, a running podcast, which you should check out. He just launched it. I will link to it below. Uh, what am I talking about? Oh, puking. Oh my god. So, so we did our we did our one mile, and the one mile felt really good, really fast. It was like six thirty. I know. I can't believe I can do that either. And uh, and then we did our three lap, our our uh, twelve hundred, which started to feel a little shaky, but I finished strong. And then, and then we got to the eight hundred, and. We started and literally in the first, less than a hundred yards in, I felt it and I tried to fight it, but it just, I had to pull over and like, <laughs> Greg screamed at me. He's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I'm puking. And uh, yeah, it, it wasn't a lot, but it definitely happened. And uh, it's not my proudest moment. <sighs> Final track day. It is so much harder 
working through the pain than it is to say that pain is the boogeyman. Like speaking it and reading it in this book that I'm reading, How Bad Do You Want It? Like reading about compartmentalizing pain and pushing through it is so much easier to understand and wrap your head around than actually doing it in the moment. And I, it's hard. It's, like, it's really, really, really hard. And that is my only like damn moment, like my only bummer moment of this whole training cycle is that I didn't force myself to this place earlier that I only just figured out at Rock and Roll Philly that I needed to be in this place and to play in it. So it's hard, but I'm confident that, you know, it's not a deal breaker. It's just not gonna be familiar. Does that make sense? But it's hard. I mean, you guys know pushing through discomfort is like the worst. It's hard to embrace the pain. It is really, really hard. Like your stakes need to be so high that you have to like rationalize that doing that makes sense instead of saying this isn't this isn't worth it. And it's not saying that. It's it's just like in the moment when it's happening. I it's so easy for me to tell myself that I can't push through it because I don't want to, if that makes sense. It's such a habit to get comfortable. That's what I'm trying to say. But I'm happy I went 100. I'm really, I felt really good. I felt really strong. I felt my form was great. And I really worked on doc with Dr. Bob and Josh both tell me, you know, like, come back to your form and stay present in the moment. Because my mind loves to wander when I run. It's insane how in, within 100 yards, like, I will be thinking about me and Daniel Radcliffe possibly being together. Like, something insane like that. <laughs> I can't believe I just admitted that. But... <laughs> I'm excited. I have one more long run tomorrow. I have 20 miles, not tomorrow, on Saturday. What day is it? Thursday? On Saturday, so two days. So I have 20 miles on Saturday and then 10 miles on Sunday. So this week is going to be a big week. A lot of running. And then it's taper time. So it's do or die. All right. That's it for today. I'm going to go back to work. Rest day tomorrow. 20 miles on Saturday. 10 miles on Sunday. Holy shit. <laughs>